chile Asante. Tu imekuwa amazing kama mlivyoona. Umeelewa. Tashukuru Mungu sana maana si rahisi. Umeelewa. Uh, Tumesell out karibu state zote. Umeelewa. Nadhani kama state mbili tu pengine ndio tukusell out vizuri. So it's amazing na tunashukuru Mungu sana. Mm-hmm. Naam. Uh, miongoni mwa states ambazo umeperform unaweza kusema ni gani ambayo unahisi kwamba wali show so much love kiwango ambacho hauko unatarajia? Mm, naweza sema LA, naweza sema Minnesota, naweza sema Dallas. Like karibu states zote yani. Umeelewa maana different state, different vibes. Yeah. Na ni kitu gani ambacho umeona kwenye hii tour ambacho unahisi kwamba eh hey, kimekuwa cha kipekee sana mm-hmm. eh, ukiangalia tours tofauti ambazo pengine ushawahi kufanya? utofauti ni kujaribu ku pull like crowd katika kila state maana si jambo si jambo rahisi tumeona kuna wasanii wengi East Africa ambao wameweza kwenda kule lakini mara nyingi unaona unafanya show kama mbili tatu alafu tu haiendelei ama pengine show zingine zinakuwa ziko vizuri mm-hmm. so si tumechukua muda toka 2018 toka 2018 tumekuwa tukijadiliana tukipanga huo mchongo umeelewa sasa ndo maana umeona kila kitu kimekwenda sawa mm-hmm. kila state watu wamekuja na wame vibe wame enjoy Mm. Okay as an artist apart from pulling the crowd uh, which other what was your what, what are other goals that you had uh, ukipanga hii tour and have you been able to, able to achieve them mm, yeah it's just me connecting with my connecting with my fans my fans because i knew it, it was going to be different umeelewa kwa zani watu ambao wamenihitaji toka 20 i would say like 2016 2017 lakini muda wote nimekuwa tumekuwa tu wendi maana alikuwa tunataka tuipange tupange kitu kizuri tufanye kitu kizuri and all that so nahisi kwamba ilikuwa ni tofauti and um, nahisi show za nyumbani na show za kule ni tofauti kidogo at some point different state different vibes lazima ujue ni jinsi gani ambayo unaweza communicate na mashabiki zako umeelewa kuna wengine wanataka vibe kuna wengine wanataka connection maana nyimbo zangu nyingi unajua pia ni to communicate i communicate with people mm-hmm. yeah. okay tofauti kubwa kati ya show za hapa Kenya mm. na hapo nje ni gani uh, show zipo tofauti kuna shows ambazo tunaamini kwamba lazima urushe umeelewa la lazima kelele nyingi lazima watu eh yeah. na kuna shows ambazo unaweza kuta tu umechill na unaimbia una, una watu na una communicate na watu maana nyimbo zetu mara nyingi tunapoziimba tunaziimba katika mazingira fulani katika wakati fulani na uenda kawa tunapitia kitu fulani and all that. So watu wakati leo wanaisikiza pale wanapo perform wanataka ile energy uitume pale nje yani kulingana vile huwa wanavyokuwa wakisikiliza and all that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Ufanya tu of course eh, mali kama US so rahisi. Mm-hmm. Pengine unaweza kuwa na kumekuwa na ugumu gani katika yale maandalizi ya kufanya show yenyewe ama challenges kama gani umezipitia pale? Um Simu kweli tumepanga tumechukua muda tukapanga kitu kizuri so hatukuwa na challenges nyingi kitu nitasema ni kwamba tour inachosha unajua watu wanaweza kuwa wanaona mmesafiri mna enjoy umeelewa lakini si rahisi kwa sababu mnaweza kuwa katika wikendi moja mnafanya show tatu na hii show tatu mnafanya state of forty to forty umeelewa so ina maana state ya kwanza mkimaliza inabidi mfly na ndege yenye kama masaa mangapi kama masaa matatu mkifika kule mjatulia alafu show zao wanazifanya mapema si kama huko show nazafanya sana nusu siku saa 9 usiku umeelewa so unakuta kwamba una hata muda ule wa kupumzika so kuna show zingine ambazo utazifanya ambazo uko fatigue kabisa umeelewa lakini lazima sasa ndo upambane maana show za kule si zile ambazo utaweka leo tu ambie watu njoni umeelewa lazima yani watu wajiandae waombe ruhusa kazini na vitu kama hivyo so kwa kuwa pengine umchovu kidogo uweze sema kwamba tusifanye show leo tufanye kesho lazima upambane tu uwe yeah. Yeah. Uh, wakati last time you, are, you released a song it was two months ago mm. and now umetoka mm. umerudi yeah. to expect nini should you expect something from you now man i don't know i don't know the game is different uh, nimekuwa nikichukua muda pia hiyo miezi mili nafanya show nimekuwa nikichukua muda nikiangalia ni so kwamba ni kitu gani ambacho watu pengine wanachokitaji wana maana mashabiki pia wao oh, wanadhani wanajua kile wanachokitaka lakini hawajui wanachokitaka. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tukiwa hapo kwenye kufanya kazi, mm-hmm. uh, umekuwa ukipiga tour huko outside the country internationally. Mm-hmm. Uh, tukiangalia kwenye page yako ya Instagram there was a time you met little baby. Mm-hmm. Do you, are you planning international collabs? Yeah, yeah, it's a relation. You know me, what people don't know is like I'm more of a writer. 
mimi naandika sana hata nyimbo za kizungu naandika sana so maongezi ni mapana msione tu kwamba mnataka tu LeBron afanye collab na ishi hapo and all that kuna mikakati ambayo tumeweka ambayo kwamba yani kuna nyimbo ambazo zipo kwenye mipango na tuka maana tulipata kumsikizisha tumeona uh, ideas zenye tuko nazo and all that na tuka create relationship kwa sababu mimi ile pesa ya maji unaitaka sana mzee pale ndo kupana mapeni marefu and all that so ni mongezi mapana tusiwaze tu mimi ni mtu ambao hata nikijenga nikikut... relationship jengi relationship kwa kwa nia ama kwa malengo ya kufikiria hapa tu wajua kila unapokutana na msanii wewe tufanye collab aiende hivyo mzee Mm -hmm. Okay you've yeah. said you are more of a writer does it yeah. mean that there are artists that you've written their songs Not yet because kama nadhani hatuja hasa kwenye industry to East Africa hatuja hatujaeka mikakati na misingi mizuri kwa watu wanaoandika naona Tanzania wanafanya hivyo lakini sioni kama waandishi wana faidi vizuri and all that so ndo maana huwa na uoga maana mimi nyimbo zangu ninapoziandika na zichukulia muda umenena na umakini zaidi and all that yeah. okay uh, otile yesterday you posted pale instagram ukasema thank you mm -hmm. kumaanisha show ilikuwa successful ile but my fans wana feel ujaweza ku connect now because you are zile performances maybe pale kwa instagram because mm -hmm. fan base kubwa sana kwa hapa kenya maybe ujaweza ku ku connect now yeah. ujaweza ku document the no uh, documenting has never been my star umenena okay. because um, I've, I've never been a business of, of proving. Umenelewa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yani mimi mimi huwa ni fresh, yani wewe utakavyoiona wewe ni poa tu. Umenelewa? Mimi I know my purpose na mimi najua path yangu mwisho siku. Umenelewa? Sio katika biashara ya ku compete na vitu kama hivyo. Mimi as long as watu wanakuja kwa performia wame enjoy mimi moyo wangu umeridhika. Umenelewa? My heart is full. Mm -hmm. Na kitu kingine ni kwamba uwezi ridhisha watu. Wewe unaweza piga show kwa na show kali lakini kuna watu ambao pale ndani watu always wataisi kwamba Yeah. Umenelewa? Yeah. Yaani uwezi, uwezi kuridhisha watu. That's why unakuta hata mara nyingi sisi hata msanii kama Chris Brown atakwambia kipanda stage lazima we nervous. Maana it's different crowds. Umenelewa? Every single day is different energies and all that. So we are not in the uh, business of proving kwamba tuko hivi, tuko hivi like as long as uko tunaonyesha kwamba crowd ilikuwa hivi naona people really pulled up na kwa tunarusha video kama mbili tatu nini naona yeah. yeah otile kwa kawaida unajua wewe ni msanii mkubwa sana mm. uh, Kenya mzima ana pia duniani lakini kwa msanii kama wote na expect any kind of music but mm. recently umekuwa ukifanya muziki wa kiingereza mm. kwa nini ukaamua vile cuz lazima tupinde you know lazima lazima tupinde maana i'll tell you this unaona kuna hii debate inaenda mara nyingi sijua wa Kenya sijua nalalisha nini mm. You know people know knows the truth but they don't wanna hawataki kuizungumzia. Ukweli ukweli ni kwamba ni lugha. Yeah. Umenelewa? That's the truth. Umenelewa? The difference between our industry and Nigerian industry is the language. Na tuwezi shindana na Nigeria kwa hilo. Maana ni nyimbo ngapi za East Africa ziko kimataifa kiukweli ambao kwamba unaweza kufumia crowd tofauti. So nyingi umenelewa. So kitu kinachotulimit kinachotulimit sisi kama wasanii wa East Africa ni nini? ni lugha. Mimi nikijaribu kupinda kwa mtu wa East Africa inakuwa ni kama yani atuelewe nini atuelewe kizungu and all that kwa sababu watu wameridhika na Kiswahili and all that. But um, tukitaka kutusua kimataifa lazima tupinde kidogo yani lugha lazima tu, tu nini. Hakuna kitu kingine mtu asikwambie siju people are not working hard. Bwana katika generation zote hii Kenya for the music industry hakuna generation ambayo iko successful kama hii so uwezi uwezi you can bash people like that umeelewa umeona kina calligraph wanajenga majumba yeah, umeelewa sure. umeona kina bahati wako umeelewa generation iliyopita hawakufanikiwa wako, kufanya hivyo umeelewa so you can just ponder people and all that you know it's not good and we have to really learn how to to love our country because we are sending a very bad you know narrative out there kwa sababu watu wanatuona ni kama hawa vipi vichani ni yani unaenda old old way yani ku, ku, kuaibisha watu wako hata kama hawafanyi vizuri sio poa yeah. so kikubwa ni lugha mtu asikudanganye kwamba ni nini wala ni nini ni lugha tu maana wacha nikwambie kitu kingine nikiongezea tu hakuna naweza sema duniani hakuna watu ambao wanaandika nyimbo yani in terms of skills writing hakuna watu ambao wanaandika nyimbo kama wa East Africa sure. sisi tunapea attention sana katika mashairi na mistari and all that umenelewa kuna wengine wanapea attention kwenye midundo na melody na vitu kama hivyo lakini sisi tunapea attention katika kile tunachokiandika na tunachokisema umenelewa 
So uwezi sema kwamba ati atufanye mziki mzuri. Unakuwa unadanganya. Ni lugha tu ina limit maana itafika East Africa na Central na itafika diaspora kwa wale watu wa nyumbani ambao ndio tunakwenda tunawaperformia na pengine wameweza kuput on some friends ambao ni wa nchi zingine wakapata kusikiliza mziki wetu. So yeah. Okay, umetaja ukasema the main issue ni lugha. Mm. Kumekuwa na hii debate ya kupitishwa the bill of playing 75%. Mm. Does it mean at a bill ikipitishwa 75% if the artists don't work on the language mm. bado tutabaki pale pale? <coughs> Inategemea Nimesema nini kama unataka kutusua kimataifa kwa sababu wasanii wakubwa uniambie kama top let's say kama top 5 top 6 East Africa kama top 10 wasanii top 10 unakuta kwamba wametusua tu nyumbani vizuri central wako poa umeelewa lakini tunasema kama tutataka kuifanya kama wanaijeria wanavyoifanya wanaijeria kinachookoa ni lugha umeelewa tusidanganyane as much as tunasema kwamba O oh, Kiswahili kinaweza tusua. Unaweza pata unaweza batika kupata wimbo kama moja tu ka ukatusua. Lakini sio nyimbo nyingi ambazo zita zitaweza kufanya hivyo. Nikwambie nikukumbushe tu ngoma East Africa ambayo ishaifanya vizuri kimataifa ni gani? Baby no. Ah ah ah. Na usinie kiapo. Ngoja in terms of like East Africa. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, unajua ni wimbo gani ambao ishafanya vizuri? Yaani kimataifa watu wakaupokea na wimbo wa nyumbani. Ni wimbo mmoja peke yake. So na nyenye hata mjui. I do. Hmm? I do. Again. Na. Wimbo ushafanya vizuri ni wimbo wa Idikenzo. Unajua hiyo wimbo inaitwaje ile wimbo? City of Lost. City of Lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If now we if you wanna get real. Yeah, Umeelewa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wewe ndio wimbo shaenda kimataifa na wazungu wakaucheza na unakuta kwamba kilichofanya wimbo wenyewe kutusua ni sio sio ngoma tu ni all round yani ile video wale watoto wakicheza mle ndani ndio ilienda zaidi and all that. that Unaona alifanya show mpaka kwa wazungu na vitu kama hivyo. Mm -hmm. Lakini uwezi sifanya nyingi, uenda kabatika moja tu na vitu kama hivyo. Lakini kuna vibes za kizungu unazoweza unazoweza kuzifanya, mm -hmm. umeelewa? Na ikatusua. Ndio maana unaona mimi sichoki kujaribu. Kama unielewi ni fresh tu. Maana mimi nyimbo za Kiswahili naweza kuimbia leo hadi kesho kuto mzee. Mm -hmm. Umenelea. Yeah. Mm. Utile out of music kidogo. Last week tumempokea miguna miguna. Amekuwa mm. uh, out of the country for the past five, five years. Ni message gani labda uko nayo kwa miguna? Karibu nyumbani tu. Sina mengi. Okay. Mm. Na sana nataka niulize. Ah, uh, wewe ni msanii ambaye unazunguka nchi tofauti, unafanya shows na ukienda sehemu tofauti of course unakaribishwa vizuri. And right now kumekuwa na conversation ya Uh, na isi Eric Mondi akisema kwamba tusikubali wasanii kutoka nchi tofauti tusikubali wasanii kutoka West Africa mm. eti tujijenge kwanza sisi wa Kenya sijui mm. maoni yako yanakuwa ni yapi kuhusu hilo na mimi si mimi si support hilo umeelewa I believe like if you are eating if you are eating you ain't getting no bread umeelewa mm. so mi hiyo ni kitu ambacho haiko katika um, imani yangu na jinsi ninavyo umeelewa ninavyoendesha kazi yangu and all that. Mi, kwa sababu mimi pia nataka nikaperform Nigeria. Umeelewa? Nataka nikaperform nchi zingine tofauti tofauti. So mimi huwa sinaga issue kabisa na watu kuja kuperform hapa. Umeelewa? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Otile hapo kwa kuandika <coughs> excuse me kwa kuandika ngoma za Kiingereza ama kuimba ngoma za Kiingereza. Mm. Uh, your fellow artist came out clear akasema kwamba you need to take a break from music industry mm. kwa sababu zile ngoma unaimba bado zile za Kiingereza mm. I'm talking about Will Paul what would be your response to that mm. alisema hivyo yes sikusikie mm sawa so, ndo break ninachukua na narejea sawa so, use bit mono break break ninachukua yeah. narejea so acha tuone kama upo tayari yeah, yeah last big project ambayo ume, umefanya i think nice ilikuwa EP yako mm -hmm. pengine kuna mipango ya album in the future au um Album kwa sasa urongo. Mm -hmm. Pengine ni una part partnership ambao pengine wewe na mchongo mzuri. Yeah. Uh, Alafu sasa tunaweza jadiliana kwa hilo. Lakini kwa sasa urongo. So, kwa sasa ni single tu. Nataka kuzipromosha kama zote. So mnajua mtindo wangu. <laughs> Nimechukua break nimeregea. So ni moja baada nyingine and all that. So yeah. Okay. Uh, Otile uh, okay. Sidika released a song and maybe uh, she's a good artist. Are you planning to You're trouble. <laughs> You're trouble. You're taking your time then you are. <laughs> Una ni hit na maswali mengine ajabu ajabu. Am I what are you saying? Uh, we're saying if maybe you can do a collab together with her because she did a nice song and we really appreciate that. Oh yeah. It's all love. 
mimi mtu yote akieletea wimbo mzuri tunafanya tu umeelewa ijaye kwa misi misi wale wasanii ambao kwamba lazima msanii awe mkubwa anafanya naye kazi ukiona sijai fanya na msanii mdogo ni kwa sababu ajaeleta tu kazi ambayo nimeridhia yani mimi wimbo ukiwa mkali amone mm -hmm. yeah. okay hapo kwa wasanii ambao wewe uchagui kufanya kazi na wasanii mm -hmm. uh, ulikuwa hapo awali ukifanya kazi na Lexiel mm -hmm. uh, na amekuwa akifanya kazi vizuri mm -hmm. na wa Kenya there are some people who feel like uh, he's very talented yeah. but underrated yeah. what do you think about that um he is very talented and he has a, like he has like um an international sound and I, I think like people should really uh, support him umeni leo and um yeah nitasema nini wanze lexil is is dope na tunajaribu tunajaribu tuone jinsi gani tunaweza umenelewa okay yeah. ulipokuwa pale uh, US Otile Brown of course ulikuwa na piga show zako kulikuwa na live performances na kulitokea video kadhaa zilikuwa zinatembea kwenye mtandao kwenye mm. blogs mm. there are some fans who felt like ah kidogo Otile mm. live ametuangusha kidogo what mm. can you say about that ah uh, inategemea inategemea um i've never walked around like i'm thinking like i'm the man umenelewa mm -hmm. that's one thing that i'll, I'll never yani mimi naamini yani I mean, I mean, I believe, really believe in myself, and my confidence is from inside. You know, it's not even the outer confidence and all that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's the best confidence ever. So for me, I've never walked around like I'm that guy. What show? Lazima ni pambane and all that. Now, me, if I'm taking an, an L, I embrace it like a man. Umeneleo. Nikichemsha najua na chemsha. Manager wangu atakwambia. Umeelewa? Najua hapa hapa nimechemsha lakini kesho nitajiboresha namna gani? Kwa sababu kama nilivyokuambia nafanya show kama ta, tatu weekend moja. So raisi, mimi binada mwisho siku. Umeelewa? Kwa pale kuna siku pengine sauti ilikata? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zipo lakini unapambana and all that. Umeelewa? Kuna swali ningependa kuuliza. Ah, uh, ulikuwa umezungumzia the way the music industry has changed to work hard and of course tunaona wasanii wa sasa hivi wanafanya wana make moves, calligraph, anajenga bahati anafanya project flani na flani but we ain't seen Otile Brown akionyesha ni kwamba aufanyi ama umechagua kutoonyesha usifanye nini usifanyi ufanyi project za kwako ama umechagua tu kutoonyesha hizo project um sio kwenye biashara ya kuonyesha sana naweza kidogo tu umeelewa kama viwili vitatu ku inspire just for the motivation no purposes lakini mimi sipo sana kwenye biashara ya kuonyesha and all that umeelewa but if you know you know Umeelewa like, if you know you know like yeah so yeah otile wakati ulikuwa pale US bado mm. uh, you posted the uh, you wish to your ex girlfriend number 8 mm. uh, happy birthday alafu mm. my fans wakaanza kusema otile una sim una mbembeleza mm. mrudiane vitu kama vile mm. kusim ndo kufanya nini kusim ni nilasemaje na Kiswahili <laughs> yani kama kama unajipendekeza unajipendekeza yani ule mshikaji wangu mzee najipendekezaje sasa umeelewa wale mshikaji wangu unajua acha niambie and i want to talk to the youngings let me tell you one thing ishi maisha yako and be you you know kuwa wewe and attract the right people because i know i see right now there's a lot of talk and everybody is trying to be a motivational speaker Every, everybody is trying to give you a game umeelewa yes. don't pretend to be who you are not and you end up in, attracting like the you know the wrong people and all that umeelewa be yourself and all that these stories are kusim stories za ku nini hizo ni vitu ambazo zina ku throw out of the umenelo, the right track and all that if you really if you like somebody let them know you like them umenelo. yeah and if you ain't messing with nobody like stay out of the way umenelo. me i'm not simping that's my friend umenelo, that's my friend you know like yeah so i was just wishing her happy birthday i thought it it was only right yeah, yeah. Okay, utile kwanza hongera kwa America tour yako. Mm -hmm. Umefanya kazi mzuri, ume to represent to the fullest. Uh, kwa majina yanajulikana kama Kideo, unafanya kazi na SP Ambassador. Yangu ni tumekuwa na kumekuwa na tatizi hapo online. Uh, wa Kenya wamekuwa kujiuliza mbona kuna list ambayo ilitolewa na watu Apple mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni most stream song in Africa mm -hmm. na tukaweza ku represent ku BN akapata fursa mimi kuwa miongoni mwa wasanii ambao wali represent Kenya. Na tukiangalia hits zako, tukiangalia projects zako, kazi zako safi zinaziuza wa Kenya wamekubali, staff wako wamekubali, Africa wamekubali, internationally umekubalika. Maybe yapi una yapi kusema kwa BN kwanza? Alafu vipi una feel ilikuwa sawa hiyo list ilikuwa kuna vitu walizingatia na wewe kama msanii uli feel ku miss out among the top 100 Africa kivipi kama wewe msanii vipi ulikakosa kwenye hiyo list? Ah uh, mimi kama mimi kumuona BN pale ninafurahi, umeelewa? Maana um, mimi 
mnajua kama wakati wangu pia nime top sana and all that so mziki ni grafu ni kitu ambacho umeelewa kuna muda ambao ukiwa pengine umechukua break umeelewa saa zingine uenda kawa pengine huko pale no? kama mimi nimechukua miezi miwili ni sawa nisipoonekana pale lakini kitu kingine pia sio lazima iwe ni mimi tu kuna wakati mwingine pia nikiwa na wenzangu ama ndugu zangu kama kina BN wanafanya hivyo nashukuru and all that yeah so it's not an issue and kuna mwisho kwa utile mimi naitwa Mboya na wewe ni mmoja wa wasanii mwenye una invest sana katika appearance yako juzi tuliokuwa kaka tulikuwa US niliona ulinua chain ya milioni moja wakati wasanii wetu wa Kenya wanavaa vitu fake na pia wewe ni mmoja ambao unanunua viatu vya laki saba, laki ngapi labda Uh, ni nini labda ina, ina kufanya uinvest sana katika mavazi na ushauri gani unao labda kwa wasanii wa Kenya wanaova vitu fake mtu avae tu kichwa chake ndio anyway asante sana kwa kwa safari karibu kidogo mchovu nini lakini kila mtu avae kichwa chake na sio issue mimi napenda kuvaa yani wanaonijua ni toka na uza nguo mitumba mimi nilikuwa navaa mimi napiga tunaita kupiga mimi upigaga yani kaida yangu wala so issue is not to try and improve anything ama ama kitu kama hicho man i love you guys i appreciate you and my guy here this up